New candidates heading out today for some last minute campaigning, including those running for Kern's 4th District Supervisorial seat, currently held by David Couch. 17's Michaela Armstrong caught up with some of the candidates before the big day. Michaela? Jim, I managed to catch up with three out of four candidates in the race for District 4, everyone except for David Couch. We've been trying to reach out to Couch since Friday, but he hasn't returned our calls or texts. Three candidates are vying for Supervisor David Couch's District 4 seat on the Board of Supervisors. With less than 24 hours before the primary deadline, each says they are optimistic ahead of the big day. My, my heart is full. I'm super excited. I'm super confident. I'm, I'm tired, but I'm excited. Each of the candidates vying for Couch's seat are Hispanic, and if they were to win, would be the first Latino supervisor in the district. Candidate Salvador Solario Ruiz says voters want new new representation. And a lot of them say, where has Supervisor David Couch been? Over 10 years of the same representation, after election after election of the same folks there, it's okay to say, hey, we want change, uh, you know, and a new vision for Kern County, and I am that vision. All three candidates have local government experience, including Veronica Vasquez, a Delano City Council member. With my experience, I have been getting the job done, and I will get the job done. I actually walk the streets that I'm, I'm running for. So when people say there's no sidewalks and there's no street lights, I literally know that because I'm out there doing the work every day. Along with candidate Alex Garcia, who says his rural perspective and fresh take as mayor in Wasco is needed change. A supervisor and advocate who's going to be able to speak to that uh, way of life, our lived experiences in District 4. It's one thing to say experience matters, but experience and vision. And so that's what I bring to the table. Again, we reached out to Supervisor Couch and have not received a response, but we'll have more coverage on District 4 tomorrow as the primary election kicks off right here on 17 News.